Yeah, apparently he was going to schedule to meet Trump today, and there's like videos of him like. First of all, I want to say like he dyed his hair orange. That's uh, what th- he dyed his hair orange. Easy. Yeah, did you see that? No, I didn't. Yeah, he dyed his hair orange. If you see a photo, there's a video um, of him today walking. and He didn't have orange hair. Yes, he no. It was like on the top. Oh man. Oh shit! He did too. It's like blonde. Sorry, it's like yeah. blonde tips. It looks like a bit like um what Frank Ocean did. Yeah, it does actually. Um, you know, Is I feel like when any any time somebody changes their hair, it signifies some type of change. Anytime they exactly. change their appearance, signify. If I've cut my dreads off, you know something's happened. Something's happened. You know, you know, like change. I imagine like if I was to have a bad breakup, then. All this is gone. Because um, every time you look at you, you remind you of that person that you were I just, with. I just like the symbolism of change and... I'm going to say, man. A new. Especially when you change something about yourself, it's just to like help you like just change yeah, yourself. Because it's you just move. a start. It helps, exactly, helps you keep moving. And I feel like yeah, after yeah. Kanye's stint of wherever he was in hospital, doing whatever he had to do, I feel like Chance that's... cancelled his whole thing to come back and go see him. Right. And so we hear a couple of tweets. I wanted to meet with Trump today to discuss multicultural issues. These issues included bullying, supporting teachers, modernizing curriculums, and violence in Chicago. I feel it is important to have a direct line of communication with that future president if we truly want change. Hashtag not 2020. 2024. Uh, what you up? know why I did that? Out of respect for Trump, because him saying 2020 has pretty much been like... He's going to run against Trump. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's going to run against the next guy. So it's just basically... So, uh... Please, will you continue what you're going to say. Um, so, yeah. So, there it says is like, for education, multicultural, like, all good. But if I've looked up and people are saying that he went there about being his interior decorator for the White House. <laughs> I hope that's true, man. I hope that's true. <laughs> Imagine what it would look like. <laughs> oh, I think it looked fly as fuck. Can't fly you? as hell, man. I think that's a talent of Kanye, his eye for detail and, uh, and aesthetics. There are going to be a lot of people that, like, will think of him meeting with Trunk as being, like, you know betraying to the community or to, to his people, whatever. But I think that he what he's doing is actually like, you know, he's president. You can't change that. Work with it. Yeah, he's being proactive. Exactly. I think. Work with the, the mistakes that we've made. Mm. I think that's positive uh, so far from what we've seen. Yeah. But, um, he's the hero we need. <laughs> we didn't know we need. I hope he's doing okay. Apparently, even new music, TurboGrafx-16. Oh, yeah, 16? I was meant to drop in October, wasn't but it? But there's a, there was a track list kind of leaked by someone who's working with him of like a rough track list because he kind of wants it to symbolize kind of a video game type of vibe. Yeah. So it was all these, you know, kind of unique names. Um, so that was as a cool little hint that's probably not going to happen for a while, but he, apparently he's working on new music in some mm. capacity. 